What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts, as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor. And we are back inside the building once again for this same song that has continuously appeared on this channel. Uh, I don't think I've ever done more videos about anything than I have about this song. Oxlade, Colossa, uh, the official video for the Camilla Cabello remix is out now. Um, I wasn't going to do a full video on it, but then I saw a little sneak preview of it on Twitter and I went, you know what? We can't not like, I've already said that I feel this is the biggest tune of the year. I feel this is my favorite track of the year within the Afrobeat space. So to not do a, uh, an official kind of breakdown for the official video, um, I feel we'd be missing out. Obviously, there is very little for us to talk about in regards to the actual tune. So we are going to take this one in and primarily talk about whether or whether we don't think the video was needed or whether we or not we don't think the actual remix has added anything. We're going to try and look at it from a different point of view. But again, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff i promise this will be the last video we do on colosa unless it is involved in sort of other lists or things like that that we do um i know we are probably <laughs> milking it a little bit at this point but they put, keep putting new content out like what are you supposed to do um obviously we're a reaction channel so we're supposed to react to content as it lands so there we go right let's check it out i'm gonna stop waffling let's go yeah, 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 yeah. I really like the way the video is looking, man. So many reasons why I want it for you, my love. Now you are want all the time with you, my love. See how the little good things you do, they make me know now. The most confusing thing about this is already that he's had a brand new tune out recently with Maiku, and he's also had a track on the new Sarko D album. Um, and yet this tune is still the one that's getting all the attention. It's actually nuts when you think about it. Like, he could have gone on and done loads of other things, but he has stayed with this tune, and he has pushed it and pushed it and pushed it. This, as a track, is an example of if you push a track in the right way, this is how viral something can go. Um, and going viral for the right reasons, not because someone did something funny on TikTok. Well, I suppose the recreations did get a little bit funny at one point, but this is more about the heights you can take something if you push and promote it properly through your own account as well. Um, that's the first thing I can say about this. He must be sick of miming this by now. Is this dance is taking a hold on me for sure, baby, come. Something that this video needs to do. There are little elements. Oh, 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 the flash already looks good. The flash between the two, two different scenes already looks good. He looks almost semi matrixy in this shot as well. Um, I like how the video is being shot. It looks like it's shot like in, in LA or California. There's something just about the way the color schemes and, and the lighting. It does make it look like it's shot in California. Again, on top of that, um, the video with the little slight cut shots to Camille does work really, really well. And it does kind of amplify the idea of this is a remix. Um, and again, I'm liking the fact they're still incorporating those classic dance moves. They're almost more amplified now at this point as well. Already, the video adds to her performance in the tune. Um, I don't think there's any denying that. The fact the video is shot the way it is with the two kind of cutscenes. Obviously, you've got the chairs on one side. Um, the chairs are on both sides. This is almost like a crime scene. The other side looks almost like it's the same scene just prior to whatever happening, whatever happened. Um, it looks quite cool. Again, the sort of same dance routines going on. Um, and it does add to it. Again, I always say about music videos, they are pointless unless they add something to the tune, whether that's like a statement, whether that's like a visual accompaniment, whether it's just a cool dance routine. It needs to add something to the tune otherwise what's the point in doing the video um and this again is a, is a is a good example of that happening because i mean camille looks good the dance routines look good it adds you know it does add I 
That's the uh, cover, isn't it? They're both on the bike in the cover, um, which is cool. It's cool that they've incorporated that. And again, they probably did the actual artwork for the tune whilst filming the video. The video was probably already being filmed uh, before anyone even knew it was happening, which is kind of cool. Um, and again, it, I, don't, I don't know where uh, Camille's based. I, I, she might be based in LA because it looks it looks very California, very LA to me, the way the video has been shot. Um but yeah, again, it, I think the video does add to it, man. It kind of adds to the kind of iconography of the tune because obviously Camille is very visual. She's very cut. She moves a lot. She has a lot of kind of visual presence in the uh, in, in in the video itself. Um, and I'm liking this kind of cut shot between both of them. I wonder if we're going to see them in the same scene though, because if not, it's a little bit of a cop out, if you ask me. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Oh, he's sick. This is like some, um, it's like some Mercutio shit where the families meet on the beach. It's Romeo and Juliet, that, isn't it? Where the two families meet on the beach. That's quite cool. That is really, really cool. Um, I don't know if that's meant to be the reference to it. I don't know, but that just reminds me of that really bad um, Leonardo DiCaprio uh, film that they did of Romeo and Juliet. Which, it, the, I mean, uh, Romeo and Juliet's a classic story, obviously, but it's kind of cool to incorporate that thing of them both being on the beach in LA. I don't know if that's done on purpose, but again, that's the, the first thing I see um, when I see that. But yeah, I mean, I'm hoping we're going to get to see them do the solo together because that's the that's the bit of this tune, isn't it? Let's go. Oh, Yep, the video was worth it. No getting away from it. 100% the video was worth it. And I won't lie, I might have been wrong on this one, on the thing where I said I think I preferred the Calm Down remix. I think I am now starting to edge towards this one. Maybe that's just because I've now seen the visual. I've now seen the entire kind of feel of what it's going for. I love the fact they're both in the video together as well. Um, it just adds to the feeling of the tune. It makes it just feel a bit more official, a bit more authentic, you know. Um, and I think on top of that as well, um, it there are elements of this I didn't like at first. Again, I thought there were ones I'd have to sit and think on. And the more I've sat and thought about them and the more I've taken them in, the more they have grown on me. Realistically, I do think she's added quite a lot to this in hindsight. I think there are things about her verse I don't particularly like. I don't particularly like that. And then I swing with Dark Slade. That little kind of bit there. I, I, I think she still could have done more with that. It sounds a little bit shaky. But I think overall, her addition to the tune does. Um, obviously, it brings in an entirely new audience. But it doesn't bring in an entirely new audience without ruining the original project like you can still go and listen to the original video you can still go and watch the color session if i was going to choose which one to listen to i've got the color session on my on my spotify playlist rather than the, the official release put it that way um but i think there is definitely a space for this um in this sort of globalization of afrobeats as it does become a global genre as it does become something that we're hearing in dance floors around the world so again the video has definitely added something but guys let me know your thoughts in the in the, uh, in the comment section down below. And as always, if you are new to the channel as well, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. And we shall see you all next time. Peace. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Corp Camp TV. Stay locked.